Hey, I'm Kylie of Kylie M Interiors, online paint color consultant and e-design specialist. Today we're going to talk about Benjamin Moore Ballet White. Ballet White is an awesome neutral paint color. It is essentially a cream paint color. Now cream is a yellow paint color with a neutral added, so it's going to have a little gray beige, like a grayish kind of dirt in it. This calms the yellow down, puts it more in the earth tone family versus the, the day glow sunshine family. Now a lot of my e-design clients say, oh I love cream paint colors but I don't want a yellow undertone. You have to know that with cream, with ballet white, you're going to get a yellow undertone. So it's just about how much of it you get. You'll find with ballet white if you love cream and you don't really want a yellowish look, this is a good choice because it's super calm down. Now in a north facing room, you're going to find that ballet white it's going to lean a little bit more into its neutral grounded base. So it's going to lose a bit of that creamy warmth. It's going to fall, I'm not going to say it's going to look tan, but it's definitely going to neutralize a bit. Whereas in a south facing room or say uh, an afternoon room in the western light, it's going to warm up. It's going to favor a little bit more of its creamy side. Now every color has an LRV number, which is the light reflectance value. So that refers to how light or dark a paint color is. Zero is black, 100 is white. So this fella here has an LRV of 72. So I call it a, a light depth paint color that is getting really close to the off-white range. For me, the off-white range starts at about 74. If you want to learn more about LRV, I do have a few articles on my website to check out. It's super fascinating and can help you so much with choosing a paint color. So sitting at 72, this guy's fantastic. Now he's not going to necessarily be a light, bright, fresh color unless you have a super bright room. But even then, that neutral base calms it down. If you have, say, a north facing room, shadowed, not super bright, you might find it a bit muddy, unless that's the look you're going for, kind of a creamy, grayish, muted look. It's not a bright, cheery, fresh cream. Um, it's not gonna give you that look like, say, timid white or even Navajo white are gonna give you more yellow. This is certainly more subdued. So if I'm gonna partner ballet white with a white, so if you're gonna paint your trim, your cabinets, doors, that kind of thing, I'm probably gonna partner it with a warm white versus a stark white. You can see this here, that's stark white. So you're gonna see that with say decorators white or super white. I'm more likely to partner it up with white dove. So white dove is a warm white. It's really doing a similar thing to ballet white in that it's a, it's a yellow base creamy color with a soft neutral backdrop. So you can see that there. If we put it right up there, you can see how ballet white sits with that versus that, and that's a way softer look. You also find that Bally White is so flexible, it can accommodate so many other paint colors because it doesn't have, you know, a snaky green or a snaky pink undertone that can clash with other colors. You find it super versatile in a color palette. So I might partner it with, say, Grey Owl. Grey Owl's awesome. I have a color video on that too, if you wanna check it out. Oh God, get that straight. So you can see, if you had two rooms and you wanted a two color palette, so fantastic. This would be your trim. You got one room this color, one room this color. Now I'm not here to say these are going to suit your room or that gray owl is going to be good if you've got north facing rooms or this is going to be good for your furnishings. I can't do that right now, but I can tell you that this is a great place to start to give you a beautiful look. So that is ballet white. If you want to learn more, I have a color review with photos on my website and I'd love if you subscribe to my video feed so you can see updates. Thanks for visiting.